guys, welcome back to our Coracle YouTube channel. I'm Amrita and today I have with me a friend of mine joining us for the video, Melvin. Uh, hi guys, my name is Melvin Ronald de Souza. I study in Technical University of Hamburg. I'm doing my master's in environmental engineering. guys would have seen our latest Instagram post where we spoke about the different types of accommodation in Germany and also if you're not following our Instagram channel please make sure to follow our Instagram channel to be updated about the latest uh, lifestyle in Germany and to know more about how it feels moving to Germany. Uh, so moving on as I was mentioning about the accommodation in Germany uh, today's video will be speaking more about the advantages and disadvantages uh, of the accommodations here. Uh, so the first uh, choice for most of the students will be uh, the stu public student dorms. Uh, so let us learn more about uh, the pros and cons of living there from my friend Melvin here. The first thing you have to do as soon as you get your admit letter is that you apply to your student dorms. The way you do it is through a student work. The pros which comes with uh, student dorms is that you can get your uh, student dorm for the rent of 300 to 400 euros which is very affordable and you'll be socializing with a lot of international students across all over the globe and it comes with a lot of facilities included your housing your internet and your heating the cons which comes with uh, student dorms is that there is a lack of privacy is what i feel because you'll be sharing your bathroom and kitchen with uh, with your roommates and there's a high demand for uh, student dorms basically you have to apply to it as soon as possible and the last thing is that student dorm comes with a set of rules from student work which you have to adhere to and one good thing from uh, getting into student dorms is that it will be very near to your university so the commuting time will be basically 10 to 15 minutes uh, so melvin talking about the high demand were you successful in getting uh accommodation in the student dorms? Unfortunately, I applied to student and work a little late till now it's been like two semester. I still couldn't get into any student dorm, so I'm still waiting for it. Actually. Yeah, in fact, so am I. I, I failed to get an accommodation in a student dorm. Talking about the second most preferred option for a student is a wagi, that is a shared apartment. And these apartments, you'll usually be sharing it with one or two other flatmates. Uh, so the first pro is definitely the privacy compared to the student dorms because here you get more access to the uh, kitchen and you don't have to schedule your uh, day in such a way that you actually get a turn to cook. And the second pro is that uh, there are less rules compared to the student dorm apart from the fact that you will probably have to maintain silence, in sun, uh, silence on Sundays uh, which is one of the most followed rules in Germany. And uh, also it is more comfortable because it's located in a residential area and usually it's um, close to the supermarkets. Talking about the cons, of course it's going to be expensive compared to the student dorms and the rent varies between 400 to 600 euros and also some wages might be unfurnished and so the initial cost might be really high because you'll have to sort out the furnishing for your house and uh, in most of the wages you might uh, also have to do a lot of paperwork that is you know setting up your electricity and Wi-Fi and heating and even the radio tax. The next type of accommodation where students can apply to is private dorms which are uh, usually owned by private organizations. The private dorms are similar to student dorms but uh, you can have a choice of your own room or you can share it with other students and where you can enjoy facilities like your own play area and also private gyms. The cons which comes with private dorms is that it's usually a little higher price range than your student dorms and it might include a lot of paperwork when you are trying to uh, get a lot of new facilities like your own bed or some other amenities and it also uh, comes with a con that it might not be closer to your universities you should have a commuting time and also chances of meeting students from your own university will be less because private dorms will be given to a lot of universities from different uh, areas uh, so the last uh, topic of discussion today would be the accommodations in a studio apartment also called as an Einzel apartment in Germany and for this it is usually uh, a fully furnished house uh, with uh, all the amenities for you and also you can have more flexibility uh, in terms of your preferences and habits and also it comes with cons the first con is definitely that the rent is really really high and I would suggest that for students this should be a last option while moving to Germany uh, to manage your expenses through your apartment it's going to be really tough for you uh, and also another uh, con of uh, a studio apartment uh, is that uh, you'll have very limited interactions uh, since you'll be all by yourself so you do not uh, get an opportunity to meet students uh, from your university quite often 
and also of course the paperwork is a lot when you move into a studio apartment because you'll have to sort out uh, the electricity providers the wi-fi pro providers and even sort out your heating and all of this happens through a lot of paperwork uh, so just be careful and choose the right option for you guys and also i would like to share about uh, my experience with the accommodation here Uh, for me, I would say that my accommodation process was really easy. Uh, I'm doing my GTAM in TU HH and luckily my professor was really helpful. He rents out his apartment every year to the GTAM cohort and I was lucky enough to find myself an accommodation here and the rent is uh, pretty high for me uh, but also the room is really spacious and the proximity to the university is really close and also I have all the facilities close by uh, like the bus stop is probably a two minute walk and also I have a lot of supermarkets close by but I'm really happy with the decision and also I have uh, my roommates are from two different ethnicities it's really cool because we get to share our opinions about our lifestyle and our culture and I'm really having a great time in this apartment uh, but let us hear more from my friend Melvin and how is uh, his stay so far when I moved to Germany, I was not having a contracted accommodation. I stayed in a sublet which is very far from our university actually. Then I could land a full-time contracted uh, vacay uh, near to my university but the rent was pretty higher. So what I did for now is that I moved a, a little outskirt to the city so that I can manage my rent but the commuting time between to university to my house is around like 45 minutes. But yeah, that's about it. The advantage which comes with this strategy is that you'll be paying a little lesser rent than you staying near to the university. Yes, and I guess for students, it's really important that you start finding for your accommodation really soon because in the big cities like Frankfurt, Hamburg and Munich, uh, it's really tough to find an accommodation. So stay updated and uh, keep searching. Don't lose hope and hope to see you soon in Germany. Thank you so much. If you like this video, click on the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. And also if you have any questions about the accommodation, please do leave them in the comments section we'll be sure to reply to you guys and see you soon in the next video bye bye bye, -bye.